Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Oh yeah, you can still pray in school. Come on, join me. We're going back to school again on the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host, and oh yeah, it is absolutely Friday, which means it's time for Joy Bombs in the Psalms. And today you and I are going to read a portion of Psalm 119 together. It's the longest psalm in the Bible. So we're going to read about 30 verses, maybe 31 together. And this is like a prayer. And you're going to see why it fits in to our school theme. So today, won't you join me? Here we are in our classroom together. And I believe Jesus is with us because he tells us in his word in Matthew 18, verse 20, for where two or three gather together as my followers, I am there among them. So the Lord is with us in class today. I want you to take a deep breath. I'm going to take one too. I'm also in the middle of a busy day, but this time is the Lord's time. We're giving it to Him. He gives us our breath. So it feels good to give Him our time, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Psalm 119, beginning in verse 33. This is our prayer today, Lord. Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Wow. Give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways, for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commands. Renew my life with your goodness. Oh, can we just camp there for a second, Lord? Jesus, thank you for being with us. You are holy. You are good. Would you please renew the life of my friend listening right now and my life with your goodness? What a mighty prayer. May your goodness wash over us right now and through us as we consider all of the times you have taken care of us, the times we know and the times we don't know. We praise you and thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 41 now, Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can answer those who taunt me, for I trust you. In your word, do not snatch your word of truth from me, for your regulations are my only hope. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. I will speak to kings about your laws, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands, how I love them, I honor and love your commands, I meditate on your decrees. By the way, you're doing that right now. Verse 49, remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. If you're a Star Wars fan, it makes me think of Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. No, Jesus, right, is our only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. Just stop for a moment and let the promises of God revive you. Remember, he tells you he'll never leave you. Remember, he tells you that you are going to live forever in a perfect place. Remember that he tells you that he has a plan for you, plans to prosper you and give you hope in a future. Thank you, Lord, for your promises. Okay, I'm going to skip down for the sake of time right now to verse 54. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commandments. Wow. Think about that. He's saying, after reflecting overnight, maybe because he couldn't sleep, on who the Lord is, 
he then wakes up and wants to obey his instructions. Isn't that amazing? When you reflect on who the Lord is, you're like, of course, I want to obey you, Lord. You are amazing. You have the best plans for me. It's amazing how you can obey someone you trust. There's a beautiful hymn, Trust and Obey. You should look up the lyrics. It's beautiful or listen to it on YouTube. Okay, back to Psalm 119, verse 57. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promised. I pondered the direction of my life and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored to your instructions. Woo! Let's pitch a little tent here as well, because right now we're living in a crazy, chaotic, out of control world. You and I are not in control of the things that happen, but we're loved by God who is sovereign. He reigns. He's in control over everything. So when you and I look to God and his promises, we find an anchor in this stormy world that you and I are walking through every day. We never know the next thing that's going to happen. When you and I read his word and we get to know him, we find a place that is safe in this crazy world, in him. It doesn't mean that bad things aren't going to happen, but it means we know who is going to be with us, the one who promises to never leave us, the one who will take care of us no matter what happens on this planet, the one who is preparing a place for us where nothing bad will ever happen again. Yes, we are firmly anchored to the Lord's instructions for our lives. Verse 62, now I rise at midnight to thank you. Who's listening at midnight for your just regulations? I am a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. Oh Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. Oh Lord, how we praise you for another week in your word together. We're a family, God, and you're our dad And we celebrate you and we thank you for your promises. Be with us until we gather next week. In Jesus' name, we pray. And all God's kids said, yep, amen, that's right. Hey, until next time, you're really loved. Thank you for listening to the Bible for Busy People. I really enjoy our time together studying God's word and I'd love to get to know you. If you ever want to connect, feel free to email me at erica at purposely.com. We're a growing community and you are welcome here wherever you are in your faith walk. Maybe you're ready to say yes to Jesus and to accept his love and forgiveness. You'll be starting the best journey of your life or maybe you need someone to pray for you. Check out our show notes for more encouragement. Behind every good thing, there are amazing people who are using their time and talents to make it happen. Thank you to the dream team that makes this podcast possible. Debbie, Donna, and Rebecca, y'all are not only rock star colleagues, but dear friends. I love y'all. The Bible for Busy People is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose and you are loved.